Now let me give you my three steps to overcoming objections really, really, really quick. Okay, three steps to overcoming objections. I got a couple more pages to get to. My three steps for overcoming objections. When they're like, hey Cody, I'm, I'm not. Because what happens is you're on this path, okay? You're at the start of a cell, you're at the finish of a cell. And when, when oh, you're going down and you're reading your script and they're like, oh, I'm, 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 I didn't do that, right? They're taking you off the path. They're trying to take control of the call, right? And, and if they say, well, I'm, I'm not, in, you know, I, I don't know that I, I I, I don't know that I can qualify. My, I'm in bad health. I understand. Hey, thank you so much for sharing that. This program is actually meant for people that are not in great health. Okay, so tell me, bam, and then ask a question and get right back on script on the path and keep going, right? All, all, all these objections that you guys think you're getting early in a call, early in a call, you know what those are? That it, it's, it's, it's simply, it's simply, right? It's simply human nature. It's simply human nature. People are supposed to give an objection early in a call, and they do not mean the objection they're giving you. When they say they're not interested, they showed interest, they responded. When they say they don't have any money, homeless people have money, right? Because I give it to them sometimes, right? The, when you say, well, I didn't do it, right? You know they did. I already have coverage, you know, fantastic, right? That's awesome. They believe in the product, they're more likely to talk to me about it. Okay, well my, my, well, my daughter takes care of that. Excellent, you can get her involved. Yeah, or they're like, or, or, or you're halfway through, they're halfway through the cell. And they're like, well, I need to make sure that my, my daughter is actually the one that, 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 you know, helps me with all this. So, oh, excellent, no worries. I promise you'll get to talk to your daughter. Okay, and then, boom. So, so tell me again, what, what was it? What would you, what, how, how'd you spell your last name again? Right, right back into the script. So here's my three steps. Agree, answer, and ask, okay? Agree, answer, and ask. Because when I walk in, and, and the, the, the psychology behind that is, think about this for a second, okay? When I walk into Best Buy, and, and they're, they're, they say, oh, can I help you today? What do you say? No, I'm just looking, right? No, I'm just shopping. You going in to buy something, but it's human nature to say, I'm just looking, I'm just shopping. Okay, also, when I ask my wife, hey, babe, where do you want to go to dinner? Here's a great, good hypothetical piece. When I ask my wife, hey, babe, where do you want to go to dinner? What does she say? Th this, th what I'm about to tell you, you will use, it, it's not going to be in the free ebook, by the way, but you will use it forever. I ask my wife, hey, babe, where do you want to go to dinner? What do you think she says? I know, I don't know, I'm not sure. It, well, okay, babe, if you had to choose, where would you say? I used this in an appointment in Joplin, Missouri years ago. And I said, sir, do you know where your life insurance policy is? He said, I, 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 like, like everyone, it's human nature to say no, and I don't know. So he said, I, I don't know, right? Some of you would have believed that he didn't actually know and would have moved past it and never got the policy. I said something that made zero sense. I tried it and it worked and I use it still today. And what I said was, sir, if you knew where it was, where would it be? And he said, well, if I knew where it was, it would be in the filing cabinet right over there. I'm like, this one? Okay, okay. I said, okay, it, well, top or bottom drawer? Well, probably the top. Can I open it? Yes, I opened the top of the filing drawer. Guess what was sitting on the top drawer? On the top, in the top drawer. His insurance policy, but eight seconds before, he said, I don't know. It's human nature. They do not believe it. That psychology is, the number one rule of sales is to always agree. I'm training a state company. I'm consulting a state farm company up in New York and, and, and I'm talking to them about, they're telling me that they're getting pe people that say, well, I, I don't want to talk about life insurance. It gives me the heebie-jeebies, right? And I'm telling them, excellent. Tell the client, I, I agree. I'm with you. Talk about life insurance, give me the heebie-jeebies too. I hate talking about it. However, with everything going on in the world, if you'd be amazed how many people are trying to qualify for their, their life insurance right now. And I want to make sure we didn't leave you out. So tell me, who do you currently have your life insurance with outside of work? Right? It, that's, that's agreeing. It's not natural. Most insurance agents are trained that when, when someone says, I'm not interested, we're trained to say, well, what do you mean you're not interested? You don't have enough information to be interested yet. Right? It's disagreeable. It's combative. It's not agreeable. Okay, the number one rule of sales is to agree. That's the best way to, to the best way, right? If you, ever, if, if you think about this, the best way to de-escalate conflict in anything my wife and I are, we'll be fighting. And I'll say, you know what, babe, you're right. 
She'd be like, I wish you would stop agreeing with me, right? I'm like, well, I thought that's what you wanted, right? Be agreeable, okay? It de-escalates stuff and it, it allows you to move on, right? Answer the objection and then ask a question, right? So if, I, if I'm setting face-to-face appointments, a lot of people do that. I'm like, hey, I'm not interested, okay? I understand, okay? It's my job to simply get you the information since you requested it now. I'm going to be out in your area on Friday, so should I just drop it off in the morning or in the afternoon? Which is better for you, right? That's agree, answer, and ask. You should never respond to a fake objection or a real objection if you actually believe those exist without finishing with a question. Agree, answer, and ask. You have to finish with the question. Psychology is if I don't finish with a question, I just agree and I just answer, then they're going to restate their original objection or they're going to hang up. But I finish with a question, I'm trying to reassume control of the call, I'm trying to get back on script, and I'm trying to proceed down the finish line. Okay, so let me give you some examples. I've only got a couple more minutes. Let me give you a few. Again, we've got tons of videos. If If you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel, you need to do that today. Stop what you're doing and do that. Okay, we've got 17,000 agents subscribe to our YouTube channel now. Uh, we put out video content every single day. We've got 2,500 videos on YouTube, right? It's the best free training platform for insurance agents in the world. Okay, we're going to keep piling that with information. If you love everything we're talking about and, 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 and you want to talk to me about training your sales team or, or getting you trained or helping you in any way, okay, with anything, right? You can email me, Cody at Cody Askins, okay? Feel free to do that, Cody at Cody Askins. I'd love to be of assistance. We're also going to give you some links to some live calls, okay? We're going to give you some links to some actual live calls. You can hear me on the phone, okay? I'll make sure we include that in the ebook, all right? I want to jump to um, some different, different things that you can do, okay, for voicemail, text, or email, right? I'm going to give you some different ideas really quick. So when I leave a voicemail, I could use the normal script voicemail of, right, hey, Betty, I'm getting back to you. It's Cody. You request the information. I'm just here to give it to you. Now, I'll I'll be out in your area. Hey, call me back as soon as you can, right? I could use a normal script and leave a voicemail. Make it concise. Make it simple. Or I could say, hey, Betty, getting back to you about your request for for the new information. Hey, I've got some great news. Okay, I want to give that to you. Call me back as soon as you possibly can and leave the number phone, phone number twice. Okay, that's a good news. That gets a lot of calls. That's phenomenal. Okay, it could also be the uh, quick question. Okay, hey, Miss, Miss Betty. Hey, I got your request. I just have one really quick question. Call me back as soon as you possibly can. Leave the phone number twice. Okay, that's a quick question. Okay, the last one is, hey, if you can't get a hold of them and you've called you know, a bunch of times and you want a fourth variation, Right? If, if you're selling, it could be one of these two, okay? If you're selling over the phone, hey, no worries. I know you haven't heard back from you. We went, we went ahead and processed your information. No big deal. If you, have, if you have any questions about what we process, you can call us. Here's a number, right? That's processing it. That's good for phone sales. Or, hey, Ms. Betty, I haven't, we haven't heard from you. We're just going gonna, gonna, gonna to deliver it and, and, and drop it off. I'll be out in your area in the next couple of days, and I'll see you then. If, if you don't want me to do that, call me. Okay, that's the other option, right? That's face-to-face option. That's for delivering. Those are four variations of voicemail, text, and email. I've given you a ton of information today. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. Here's what I'm gonna do. If you have questions, okay, if you have questions and you want to talk in any way, and you think, dude, this guy gets it and he can help me. Phenomenal. Email me Cody at CodyAskins.com. If you want access to the free ebook that we just talked about, here's what we're gonna do. Okay, here's what we're going to do. For the first, for the first 100, you will get access to this for free. Okay, I'm not sure how many you're on right now, but the first 100 will get access to this for free. You can go to CodyAskins.com. Even if you think you don't need it, you will know an agent that needs it, so go grab it anyway, and it's actually free. Okay, CodyAskins.com forward slash ebook. Okay, CodyAskins.com forward slash ebook. Make sure you do that and go there, okay? Huge thanks to all of you for watching. If you want to follow me on Instagram at Cody.Askins, I love helping agents. I'm here to help. I want to see you succeed. You have the ability to do something big in the world and I want you to do it, okay? Start to think bigger. 
Let's get after it. Let's go make some money. I believe right now is the best opportunity to succeed in the insurance sales space that I've ever actually seen. Okay, let's go succeed. Maybe we'll see it. At 8%, maybe we'll see it at an eight percent nation conference in the near future. Okay, so let me know if I can help. Have a great rest of your day. Great rest of 2020. And enjoy the virtual summit. Hey, if you love this video and you want to learn how to attract more customers immediately, all right, the next video is right here. It's for you. Click on there and I'll see you over there. In the insurance industry, if people can reach out to you to do business with you, it's a lay down sell. Yeah, I think if you really understand the concept, the, the concept of being famous, right? I live outside of.